Hey guys, Golix here. Well, uh, I'm very surprised uh, this week has been turning around. I got the Callisto Protocol review out. I was very nervous when I uploaded that, but you guys seem to very much enjoy it. My, my sub revenue basically got around 10 to 15 subs more than I usually get, so uh, that was really good. Thank you guys so much for that. But now we're going to get to the meat and potatoes of this video, of course. We're going to be talking about Violent Night starring David Harbour and John Logozamo. It's a movie about basically a Santa, the Santa that we know, nice guy, that is in the midst of a family being intruded by a very rich family, mind you, being intruded by this um, very well-organized, almost mercenary type um, group of robbers that um, one of them attacks Santa and then he gets pissed off, of course, and then that's how it goes in. And to be clear, this is not a violent Santa. Well, he's kind of in that one, Violent Knight, <laughs> wink, wink. But anyways, he only really goes to violence because it goes from self-defense and then having an obligation and duty to protect um, any children or anyone that's in the house. But yeah, honestly, you know, my thoughts on it in a nutshell, this movie was fantastic. Probably one of the best movies so far that we got of this holiday season. I'd recommend doing it if you guys like movies like Nobody or Bullet Train. Again, two very well put together movies starring some great cast members. And this one is going to show, so free for free, baby. Let's hope we get for number four. But yeah, this movie was very well good in its um story and it's it's honestly it's writing so again the actors are pretty good most of them david harper john gazamo stole the fucking show um david especially is great as santa claus the fighting choreography is amazing um aside from i guess the only issue i can think with this movie is that the story beats i guess is very predictable you know when it's going to be a dramatic point and when a story, yeah, dramatic point, and then when the fighting choreography scene is about to happen. Still very good. A lot of, um, really cool shit that's in this. I'm not gonna spoil if I possibly can, but, um, I have to, um, oh my god, but if I have to go back to the actual choreography, it's so very well put together, surprisingly. And they still, they, they were able to implement the magic output of Santa, very well with his magic sack and with the chimneys that one is very good if you guys saw the trailers but yeah uh, the way that they also do it in um in a context where um i don't know it's just uh the way that they they structure it all is just it's just really really cool but uh, uh yeah i was expecting this movie to be like more just violent santa going on a rampage now again not killing the innocents just killing the assholes that invaded these poor people's houses but no it's really like this is this is definitely the general genuine bona fide santa and again not to spoil if you know about more of his legends not just the santa claus name but like way way back then you know that like santa more than meets the eye with this movie and it's absolutely incredible how they were able to pull it off together i feel like in my honest opinion they, they heavily respected the character in this. Aside from, obviously, in the trailer, he's, some of the trolls, like, he's drinking, he's, like, he's doing the whole, like, oh, I don't know if I want to be Santa anymore. Yeah, it's, unfortunately, it's kind of that movie, but don't let that discourage you. It's very, very good in the long run. Especially, especially how, like, again, how everything opens up and all that jazz. Uh, but, yeah, this was, uh... I can't, honestly, too, this was a shock. Considering Callisto Protocol, I got a shit movie, but I got this amazing movie. Granted, it's not perfect. I'll say great, like maybe 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll say it. It's an 8 out of 10 movie for me. Just like with um, Nobody and Bullet Train. But yeah, this was a surprisingly good movie with th that somehow combined wholesome elements, but make it as violent and gory as it possibly can. But it doesn't. it doesn't really feel like one element is intruding over the other. It's insane, but that's how I feel with this movie. But anyways, uh, that'll be it for me. Um, I had to actually do a double retake on this because I forgot to save the audio. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, you can sub to the channel. Um, you can donate if you possibly can at House We Get Out comic book content and um, streaming content, games, all that jazz. Uh, same goes to my second channel. I'm going to be streaming Gun Grave Gore uh, tonight. And then I'll be streaming again, probably more Gungrave Gore. And then, um, but yeah, that helps out so much. 
Um, I'm doing the youtube -a -thon, where it's like I stream from December 1st all the way to January 1st, or do as much as I can to make up the stream quota, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys later.